Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, welcome to RNS Life After 55. There's Rusty you see right now. Um, we're kind of working on the Murphy bed again because after we added this hybrid 84 pound mattress, we both struggle getting this Murphy bed up and down. So we have purchased this winch and we decided we're not getting any younger and we're both nearly in our 60s so we decided that we're going to go ahead and just put a winch on it and let the winch do the heavy lifting for us and we did get a 12 volt one is that what you said it was for us yeah couldn't get a one fine all the one thin ones were really mount up very good or really heavy yeah. duty yeah we couldn't or find a 110 $500. or 500 dollars so the one we bought I think was $66 on, on Amazon something like that you just Google winch I think this winch is like 1500 pounds so it ought to be plenty big enough for this bed but that was the smallest we could find oh 2000 pound okay 2000 pounds Rusty said so this is what we're doing next and I'm gonna video record this um Rusty let's see what it, is this where the winch itself is going to be mounted or is that where you're putting your pulleys? This is, this we also, is the winch. That's the winch. We also had to buy, you know where they're at, I was going to show them. The pulley things that we had to purchase separate. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We also, here, let me just do that. We also had to purchase these uh, pulleys. I had to modify them. And I think the, oh, he had to modify them a little bit. Because that's what we've spent all of our time doing. Cable's gotta go. Oh, okay. And um, but these pulleys, I think, were good, rated for 550 pounds. I think they weren't as much as the winch. 550 pounds should be plenty. Um, probably total with the almost 100 pound mattress, it probably is weighing. I'm gonna guess close to 200 pounds. So it's just a bit, and it's not, when we put it up and down by ourselves, if we're not catching the full 200 pounds, but you catch a lot of it when you get about down to your knee area and you're trying to get it all the way to the floor, or when you start to pick it up and you're in that knee area trying to pull it all the way up. And our cylinders, um, they probably aren't heavy enough, one thing. Another thing is that the cylinders may not be in the right location. We struggled with our cylinders, and it's just hard to find a place to put them when you're doing something in such a tight area. Well, so yes, I'm gonna say the cylinders needed to be were way out here. Oh yeah, the cylinders needed to come way out here. They push. Yeah. Yeah. So right now they're pushing down. Yeah. Which means you can't, if you're back behind the bed trying to pull it down, it just trying to fall on you and you're trying to hold it from crashing into the floor and busting the floor up. So this is just going to be a much better option for us. And it looks like he's putting a bottom plate in right there. Oh, that's no? Because the plate moved on me when I was marking my hose. Okay, but... Oh. Now, is that going to stay there, though? No. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I'm not sure what we're doing here. I don't know anything about winches. slot and he put the winch in I believe through that hole and I'm not sure what he's doing now because obviously we can't see way up in that hole where he's working but it's pretty simple so far I mean he just mounted that winch to that top plate up there cut him a hole I think he might be putting the pulley in maybe I'm not sure and he can't really talk or he would tell us his voice isn't very good today the crescent, the crescent this one right 
this a crescent? Okay, and he's putting a second pulley right here. The ones we found on e on not eBay on Amazon came with two anyways. Okay, now he's doing the wiring part of it. Part of it, he said. And he's putting a hook that's going to go from there all the way down to there. And cable. Cable. What cable? Oh, that cable back there. Okay, guys. I was just going to show. It's kind of a, just a simple little setup right here. There's the big old controller up there. That's like so overkill. But it just goes down. He put that hook down there a while ago. I stuck a towel there. Helpful hint that I saw other people say was to, if you're using a winch on it, cover your mattress because the winch can eventually um, cut your mattress. So I went ahead and stuck a towel down there. And he had to go get a, some one other thing off the back porch. We brought a little um, battery out here. And I think he said he had to go get cables. So he's probably went to go get cables to hook this on up to this. Um, I'm not sure yet what our permanent solution to this will be. Um, we do have a blue Yeti, but I don't know if you can use a blue Yeti for the, I don't know, because I don't know that much about it, but we'll, he'll figure something up, and, uh, it's just going to be so much easier for us, so I'll show you guys when we get to start lifting it up in a minute. Okay, he's had to go get that black and red wire to hook it to that little short wire there, and now he's hooking some kind of wires to this battery and then we're going to see if it works okay guys cross your fingers uh oh you forgot to do oh you forgot to put that back down okay here we go let's see if the bed moves I'm not sure which part to record see how far that squeezes on that mattress Okay, it's, uh, I timed it with the camera, and we're like at 31 seconds of really loud. I can live with that, though, because that did not take long at all. And look, the bed's up. Now, what about getting it down, Rusty? Is the winch going to help us with that, too? Yeah. Does it go the other way, too? Well, I have to pull it back to here because the screens are holding it in. Oh, okay. So we're going to have to pull it back about a foot, which that's not a problem. The problem is when you get down about knee length. Oh, I am so excited about the winch on the bed thing because with him having cancer, he show him your arm, Rusty, what you did to your arm today. He boogered up his arm really bad trying to get it down by himself while I was in the house grabbing some stuff for him. So he's already got in trouble for that. Don't worry, I've done yelled at him. But, um,. This, yep, let's put it up. I think we're done with it. Um, so, you probably can't hear me very good. Is it fitting back in the hole good? Oh, it is. It's fitting perfect, guys. Get a winch. If you've got a Murphy bed and it's heavy, buy a winch. The winch it's... Also hold it in. Oh, the winch. Oh, yeah, it will, won't it? And it's not putting stress on my mattress now because now it's up and down with that hook instead of when it was first going up. So definitely you want the towel there. I can see why those winch cables can cut your mattress. Um, but guys, oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Yeah, it's going to be noisy, and every day, every morning and every night, our neighbors will know when we're going to bed and getting up, but that's okay. I don't care. 
It is so worth it. This is a temporary thing right here. Rusty's talking about figuring out a way to maybe permanent. We have a hole. Let me get right there, Rusty, for a second. We have kind of a permanent hole right there that fits that battery. So he might be able to make a bracket. So that All I got to do is put a piece in here across here. Yeah, yeah, just make some kind of little bracket in there. And that may be where that stays. I, I'm not real, cr what I might do, guys, what I'm thinking, I might buy some black pipe, one inch pipe, and see if I can get Rusty to run these wires into a pipe so it doesn't look so wiry right there. Well, or we might can scoot them to the back. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move this black one and red one. Uh-huh. Right there. Hook them to the winch. Run them behind the winch. Yeah. Underneath the cable. Let me get Rusty on here so y'all can hear him. Underneath the cable. Uh-huh. And across here. I'll probably use up there where, where, where you can't see it. Uh-huh. I'll use some of these little doodads. Some of these little clips to hide it. Well, just hold it in place. I'll hold it in place. Yep. Okay. Wait. Let me get a good picture of that. Okay. And let's show them what these are called. Let me see the front of this real quick so I can maybe get a... That's what we, they are, stainless steel cable clamps. And um, and then what do you think if we were to run a black pipe? Let me unplug my phone so I can get closer. If we ran a black pipe in that corner and put our, like a one or one and a half inch pipe, black pipe, so we can just put these cables in that going all the way to the bottom. Because then it'll look better. You well, it'll be these cables. Okay, but I think. the controller's going to end up being about here. Oh, the controller will be down there. Okay. And the controller we can permanently attach to the side of this bed, can't we? Yeah, I don't know how. I have to build a bracket. We might have to build a bracket for that. That's okay. We can figure that out. So, but we'll clean all this up eventually um, and make it look better. But uh, that's where we're at, guys. This was a great 66 $66. The pulleys were what was ridiculous. I think we paid $22 for those two stupid little bitty pulleys. And that was as cheap as I could find on Amazon. I might could have gone somewhere else, but we're way out in the country and we weren't going to town. So I just ordered them because I could get them the next day so he could do this project. And much easier, much easier than the door was. Rusty wants me to get up here and just show you guys what he did up here real quick. So let me see if I'm tall enough. To see what I'm showing you guys, I can't winch. And he did he did a pulley back there, and then of course he did the pulley up underneath here. This part too. Okay. All right. Um, I am going to close this video out right there. Um, I'm not sure where we're at. What we have left to do on this trailer. My, as you see, my our green is still up, our green tape, so I do still have caulking to do. And uh, we're going to replace that mini split. We're not happy with this performance. We have a bigger one that we're going to put there and uh, try that out. And we already have it in the house. We just haven't, you know, I mean, rusty. We've done great for three days. A new door with a latch and a window and a winch on the bed. Guys, thanks again for joining us. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more of what crazy things we're getting into. And we'll see you next time. Have a great day and blessings, everyone.